Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd give a little garden update of after storm uh, when I think it was called. And to excuse how decimated everything looks. Everything's taken a right batter in. And please excuse if I'm a bit wheezy and a bit out of breath. I've just got over that dreaded virus. The Washingtonia is definitely not looking very good. Leaves have snapped. A bit bent up. This one's completely snapped. It's still pushing out new growth though. Yeah, definitely a bit worse for wear. I'm in preparation took all the leaves off the Musa Bajus as we were going to have, I think, 70 mile an hour winds. I was a bit scared they'd take off into my next door neighbour's garden. <laughs> Showing a little bit of frost damage. We had a minus, minus one last night. But hopefully there's not any more frost in the forecast. Quite looks decimated without all the plants. It's now a cat litter tray at the moment. Um, Phoenix Canariensis is still looking good. Not showing any sign of damage yet. Yeah, they're looking good. This was browning from when I bought it. Pups are still looking not too bad. Still nice and firm. The truckie's looking fine. My golden lotus banana is not looking very happy though. Little pups in there. I can't believe how many pups has come out this year. But um, hopefully on a day where it's nice and sunny, I'm going to try and tackle this and make it look a bit less awful. <laughs> um, I managed to dig up my insettes before the, the frost came. I know they're quite frost tender. They've actually been in my hallway for the last two days. Um, I've just brought them back out here today. Now it's warmed up a little bit. Still water coming out of them. I'm just waiting for these to dry off a bit. Before I flick all that off and get all the mud off. All my canners are inside. Um, just gonna have a look at my robustus out of the front. See how they're doing. Not actually looking too bad. These have doubled in size in the summer. I actually cut off, I'd say seven, seven leaves each. Um, in, I'd say October. I got these online for, I actually got them for I think about a tenner. And they, they were delivered with three leaves on, so they've pushed out. Well, how many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I cut at least six, seven leaves off. So they are very vigorous growers. But they don't seem to be as battered as the ones out the back. They have a bit more of um, shelter from the wind. But... Sorry, the video cut off for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, like I was saying, I'm gonna keep these unwrapped for as long as I can. Um, obviously I've never done gardening before, so if anyone's got any tips of, I've got quite a few. I've got one, two, three, four, five pups on this Musa Baju. And I've got, I think, similar on this. And my best um, putting bark down at the base and wrapping with fleece or straw. Um, I actually picked up off Marketplace a lot of wood that I'm going to attempt to make some little palm shelters um, with corrugated plastic over the top just to keep a lot of the rain out and off my two. Um, Phoenix canariensis, I couldn't get the word out then. 
So it's all, all trial and error. Got to start somewhere. So if anyone's got any tips of um, how I should wrap these Muzabajis, then please comment below. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.